Hello everyone, in this video we'll see how to create a journal with RQDA. So this will be quite a quick video. Just open uh, RQDA here and you go to the journal menu. And actually a journal, as it says, just a journal. So you just click on add and then you can just write some information. So just write uh, uh, I've uh, imported uh, all files, just up to you, you can just write the information and then you see that uh, if you click two times on it, you can see what you write at this date. So this was recorded uh, 23 of June 2012 at 17, uh, 8 and 12 seconds. And if you want, you can even rename but in my opinion, it's not really necessary, but up to you. Uh, you can you can rename uh, if, if you wish. Uh, if you click on open, it's like you can click two times on, on this one with the mouse or you can click here and it will open the window. It's the same. And you can just delete it or add a new code. Um, after, you can just click on add and add another journal. And uh, at, let's suppose that uh, I've uh, done all codings and then uh, I've put all cat code in code categories and so on and so on. So this is just up to you. You may use it or you may not use it. It's, it's really up to you. I think it's quite nice if you are working uh, with many people uh, on the on the same project because uh, you can know what everybody did uh, and when and maybe it's also good for you so you can just follow yourself and as you can see uh, the oldest post will be um, under but you can also change the the you, you can change the from the oldest to the newest or you can put from the newest to the oldest it's up to you just press here and uh, automatically it will uh, just uh, make a nice uh, i mean it will always put from the oldest to the newest or from the newest to the oldest because as you can see uh, it's a good organization first year after you have the month the day the hours and so on and so on so just add as many uh i finished the project uh, just as as many journal as you want but do not mistake uh, with the um, with the with the project memo with files memo with code memos with code categories memos and so on and so on so a journal is just related to uh, I would say to, to something that you've done as spe at a specific date and uh, at the end you will get some uh, nice features to to follow what you did from step to step so so just use a journal um, but not mistake it with the other memos a journal is not a, a, a files memo is not a project memo a journal is just a journal so it's really related to i would say a specific time date and so on thanks for watching this video